All right, today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at a 2018 Chevrolet Tahoe Z71. Z71, as most people become accustomed to over the years, um, dictates the suspension package and also a few modifications to the outside of the car. In this particular case, the grill is completely different. The front of this bumper is definitely higher off the ground because they took a little bit of ground clearance away. Far back underneath here is a metal skill plate, skid plate, something similar to most trucks and um, Colorados that have, of course, tow hooks. You keep those on this particular model. It does have the front um, sensors on the uh, very front bumper. If we come right here to the side, you're going to notice some distinct differences. You can only get this style 18 inch wheel on a Z71 Tahoe. Now, you can get something similar to this on a Silverado, um, but in today's case, we're talking about a Tahoe. Of course, these running boards are standard on a Z71. It's completely different than the molded ones that's already on a traditional Tahoe. It's also got the keyless. Um, Passive entry right here. Z71 logo again. We come right here to the back side. We're going to take a look at the back tailgate and show you a little bit more. On the back here, you're going to notice it does have uh, the rear parking sensors. Z71 logo is on the tailgate. It has a covered trailer hitch. I'm not going to pop it off, but there is a trailer hitch underneath here. And of course, like every other model Tahoe, there's a switch to open up the trunk, but there's also a button. And I'm gonna find it that will pop the back glass so you can put stuff in here and won't have to open up the tailgate if you like. But of course, I can hit one button, we'll open up the tailgate, and we'll take a look on the inside. And as we take a look at the back side of this Tahoe, you're gonna notice not a whole lot of space, at least with the seats up, but there is a small button here I can open up to have a storage underneath here. But with the luxury package that this one has, I can hold down one of these two switches, and of course. The seat will lay down on this side, the seat will lay down on this side, then I can have a whole lot of space. It's as simple as one, two, three. You hit the button, the seats raise up, the button, the seats lower down, as simple as that. Guys, now on the second row here, you're going to notice, just like in the back, we've got leather seats. We've got a console right in the middle that I think is the command center for the second row. Of course, you've got a little bit of storage here. I've got both power outlet uh, capabilities. I have two USB ports and an HDMI port along with an auxiliary port. So you've got every imaginable port you could put in a car, at least to my knowledge, with the exception of an optical cable. And I don't know the need of that one. Um, but if you wanted one, I guess General Motors could eventually get there. Of course, you've got climate controls for the uh, rear seat passengers along with the heated seats, which in 100 degrees weather like it is, it's not going to do any good today. And part of these controls goes along with the Blu-ray DVD system. It sets up here, it's awesome. You run it from the front, and it also comes with a wireless remote. Now, Bose premium audio system, memory seating. It's got a wood grainish looking material right here. I do like it, I saw it ish because it's not technically wood grain. It's got all your power windows and power door locks, child safety locks for the back. And of course, all your power mirror functions are all located conveniently here in the driver's seat. All right, just like on most every other Chevrolet vehicle we've gone over, all of them is going to have this style steering wheel. All of them will have a steering wheel, but this style is pretty much predominant. It's going to have all your cruise control along with your forward collision and your heated steering wheel, which we are not going to use today because it's absolutely hot. It's got the radio controls and the automation controls as far as uh, speaking uh, to the vehicle. It's got four-wheel drive controls and automatic headlamp controls to my left. It does have a power up and down steering wheel, so it telescopes in and out and goes up and down. It's got um, all the rear parking sensors and front parking sensors to my left, which you'll be able to see here in just a little bit. And up top is the driver information center with a neat looking Z71 logo. We have a massive center console along with the cup holders here and of course the distinctive style key remote that Tahoe's and Suburbans have. It's got a couple more ports, two more um, USB ports, heated seats. It does not cool with cool seats on a Z71. You can only get this for this particular package in a luxury collection. Of course you got all your controls for the rear, all my controls for the front. One of the last few models to actually have a CD player. It has a CD player, luckily, because of the DVD player. Um, and I'm quite a fan of that. And this particular system has pretty much been standard across the board. It's Chevrolet MyLink. On this particular model, I hit a button. It opens up. 
a behind screen storage along with another USB port. I hit one button, it lowers back down. This is pretty much simple if you've seen it before, built-in navigation. Um, of course, it's got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, all your phone links, pretty much anything you can imagine on a car, it has it on here. To mention the uh, engine, push button start and stop. It is very, very easily to forget this because I take it for granted that it's always there. As we come up here to the top, you're gonna see home link system. You're gonna also see the buttons for the power sunroof, which a particular model has. Another way to open up the tailgate. It's got sunglass holder and a pretty awesome flip down spot for people that do have children or just wanna keep an eye on their adults that are in the back. Guys, this one's got everything you could imagine. We sell a lot of Tahoe's and Suburbans. Look us up on YouTube. Find us on our website. Subscribe to us. Uh, comment. Like it. Whatever we need to do, let us know how we can help you.